All right, we are going to do a little fish clean in here on some yellow bass. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit different perspective, kind of from how I see the fish. I got my tripod set up, um, had my daughter out here teaching her. We had a uh, follower comment and say that he used scissors or some kind of shear to cut the ribs out and taught his kid how to do it with that instead of a knife a little bit safer for him it works pretty good so i've been working with my daughter out here a little bit getting her used to cutting rib cages out so and just like in previous videos, I start right behind the gill plate here. You got this little pectoral fin right here. Go right down like that, and then I kind of curve the back end of the knife under, and then I bring the front edge of the knife into it. Follow that spine, flip it over. Keep a little angle there, not enough to go through the skin, but enough to get all the meat off the skin. Same thing on that side, kind of go up and then I go backwards. I bring the tip up to get behind that nice chunk of meat right behind the head there. And then I kind of roll the bottom of it in. Follow it down. Flip it over, stack it on the pile. Doesn't take long to get quite a few of these going. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little different perspective so maybe it'll help you see a little bit better how we do it there's lots of different ways to clean a fish and I could go with a regular hand knife show you multiple different ways to clean a fish with a manual knife um, I've dabbled with the skin zit just a little bit. Um, I don't know. I just. The skin zit works really nice. But I feel like I can get through a lot of these faster just flipping them off with the knife blade. You might be able to save a little bit of belly meat. All depends on you know, how much you want to try and save. There's there's a little bit there, not a whole lot. You can see that, but there is enough if you wanted to bust the skins it out and pull those bones out of there. You definitely could, but it's quicker just to. I make a little loop right around the rib cage, then it's gone, then your pin bones are gone, everything. So, I'll kind of show you what we were doing, what I was teaching my daughter here. I hold the rib cage, come in just like that. You can follow it right around, rib cage gone. Nice chunk of meat. Toss it in the bowl. Grab the rib cage, follow it around, toss it in the bowl. The shears do work pretty good. Appreciate all tips. If anyone wants to comment, a lot of fish cleaning that I do is just how I learned. Lots of different ways. 
I kind of really like uh, running these shears here and definitely like it for teaching my daughter how to help clean fish. Works pretty slick. That's going to do it for this little clip of cleaning fish, kind of give you a little different perspective so that you can see a little bit easier on the angle of how we're cleaning these fish and most other fish. Pretty much do it the same on all fish. Um, it just kind of depends what you have, if it's a you know manual knife, whether you got an electric knife, um, if you have a skin zit. I could probably do a video on the skins at some time. Um, I don't use it all the time. I'm not the greatest at using it, but we could definitely put something out there. Um, if you could, give our channel a subscribe. Like, helps out a lot. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys.